Hey everyone. So here at Ardhoc, we operate what's known as a bug bounty program, which lets an invited group of security researchers use, explore, and test the Ardhoc platform. This ongoing security testing activity provides us with valuable insights into the risk posture of the platform, and we feel it's um, a great complement to more traditional security assurance activities, such as, for example, periodic or annual penetration testing. Sometimes we notice an uptick in bug reports, possibly around a specific feature or, or domain of features. And there can be a variety of reasons for this, but uh, we can use such a trend as an opportunity to work directly with the product team involved uh, to look at root causes and potentially uh, make some improvements. For example, maybe we'd want to sit down and do a, a threat modeling workshop with the product team involved. Now here at Ardoc, we don't organize our product development uh, according to sort of the organizational hierarchy. Uh, instead, we have what's known as product teams. So they're cross-functional teams where the members are both from uh, the engineering department and from our product department, and possibly uh, other people are involved as well. So it doesn't make sense for me as the CISO to walk the org chart, so to speak, to try to find the person responsible because uh, the org chart doesn't map to the product domains. But that's something I can use Discover for. In Discover, I can map the, the product domains to the cross-functional teams involved to the people in, in those teams. So let's say I want to find out uh, who's working on broadcasts. Ooh. Here we go. And you can see there's a product domain called broadcasts. And if I look at the details of that, I can see that broadcasts appears to be linked to team engagement. And team engagement is one of our uh, cross-functional teams. Now, I can actually change the view on this and, and use a, a different viewpoint that we've created in Discover to uh, show which product domains are mapped to which product teams uh, and who's in those teams. So in this case, I can see broadcasts are owned by team engagement. And in team engagement, we've got some developers, we've got a, we've got a QA person, and then we've got a, a product manager, Kiran, as well. Now, I can actually uh, look at what other product domains are owned by team engagement as well, just by double clicking team engagement. And then I, I get to see the other product domains involved as well. So in this case, if let's say we had a, an uptick in bug reports around broadcasts, uh, I can use the uh, discover to figure out, okay, that's owned by team engagement. So I'm gonna go talk to Karan about um, setting up a workshop uh, with uh, him and the rest of the team.